All right, uh, this is a really quick video. It's um, basically my opinion about the MUX VST versus its competitor. So MUX is a VST platform that allows you to program in your own VSTs um, and, or sorry, your own synthesizers. So you can basically take um, almost any kind of uh, synthesis, including VSTs, other VSTs and uh, program it um, using various modulators that are built into the tool. And in my opinion, there's there's basically um, there's basically a whole bunch of competitors out there. These are the ones that I have experience with, and I've kind of rated them out in a graph. So ease of programming versus flexibility. So when I'm talking about flexibility, I'm talking about the ability of the software to essentially do anything that you want. So Reactor 5 and Reactor 6 are easily at the top of that scale. Um, Reactor 5 um, basically can do anything that Max and Max for Live can do, but it can do it better because you have much more fine-grained controls over, over things. And I find the kind of components that come out of the reactor process to being much more complete, much more, much easier to use than, than what comes out of uh, Max for Live. I don't have experience with Max per se, but just for Max for Live. And uh, in, in Reactor 6, which is also recently out, um, it's a lot easier to program now with the concept of a block. So what a block is, is basically the user interface that you can now wire together um, through, through the interface. Um, it's not as easy to program as MUX because it doesn't provide any VST support. And what I mean by that is in MUX, you can basically scan in all of your VSTs and modulate the VSTs controls like the volume or the pitch or, or the feedback or any of the, basically any of the controls on that VST using the modulators that are inside of MUX. And that capability on its own makes uh, MUX at the top of the, of the pack. Um, I included uh, MXX, which is Mel Melita's um, core tools. Um, they're, these are all in US prices. Um, so what MXXX is, it's a platform for you to basically wire up in a um, kind of a, a matrix format all of the effects that you want. So it's possible to buy all of their effects and wire them up in really creative ways and, and create some really creative audio effects. Um, it's down further on sort of the flexibility and programming perspective because it's not a true synthesizer maker. It's really all about effects. Um, they do have their own uh, synthesizer and I believe it's part of the core. So you can, you can do programming in that regard, but it, um, it's not as flexible from my my basic experience with it as um, as other tools and maybe in the future will be uh, better programming uh, taskman has been out for a long time it has really excellent uh, sound quality but i find that it doesn't have as much flexibility as to what you can do it's it's a lot more in the mux uh, way where you've rather than diving deep down into the programming where you're doing multiplication and, and adds and a whole bunch of really complicated stuff um, it's much more modular. It's, it's sort of sort of like here's here's a synthesizer and here's a you know a balancing control and and you can basically wire those things together. So it's a higher level kind of of organization. Um, I come from a programming background and I find Max Max for Live, Reactor and Reactor Six really hard to program. Me really hard to understand. Um, Reactor Six only gets to be bumped up in the ease of programming because of the block mechanism but if you have to dive down into the into the depths of reactor 5 and max I find it really hard to figure out what's going on with it um, and and I know that there are people out there who just love it and they can do anything that they want with it but for me I find it just really hard to to kind of wrap my head around it and so MUX while it's not as flexible in terms of its overall capabilities I think is a really great deal for 70 bucks US um, and the VST support I think is a really big add the ability to modulate any of the VSTs in creative ways inside of MUX makes it really interesting and then the last thing that I really want to point out is that you know its price is only 70 dollars US 
which is really inexpensive. Now the stars mean that the prices on the websites are actually in euros. So I've converted the prices to US dollars for this slide just to, to give you an idea. So the actual cost to you will be different depending on the exchange rate and all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you're looking for the most amount of flexibility, clearly uh, Reactor and, uh, is, is the way to go, but it's really hard to program. MUX is really easy to program and it's really flexible and I think it's a really great product. Anyway, um, hopefully that's a good overview of MUX and where it fits within the competitors.